I don't know how to start a video, but I'm Hootless, and this is Stardew Valley Ultimate Chef, episode 6, probably? But, uh, not, not a whole lot happened this episode, and it's even shorter than the last one, because it got to that time of spring, which is the 15th through the 18th, and that's where all the salmonberry bushes are coming in, and I wanted to make sure I got all of those, you know, possible. So, I did that, and that took up most of each day. At the very end, I tried to get into the mine since I finished it a little bit quicker, but, like, I didn't even manage to get through, you know, a single set of five floors, so it was kind of a waste of time, which is why I was not doing it on the previous days. Because even though I went pretty much as late as I could have, I could have gone, like, a tiny bit later, but not by much. I uh, wasn't able to reach the next set of five. I just still have to upgrade that pickaxe, because otherwise I just can't mine it fast enough. But I'll work on that soon. Probably next episode, maybe. Gotta collect the copper because you have to do it in a linear fashion, so gotta upgrade it to copper first, I think, and then and then iron. Or I am doing it wrong, but either way, I'm pretty sure I have to do copper first, which is kind of unfortunate, and I'll work on getting that done. Uh, that's pretty much it in terms of Stardew. Didn't really collect anything extra off of the list, but that's because we've pretty much run out of things that I can collect in spring at least right now. Although I did realize that the the rerun on the Wednesdays for the Queen of Sauce show actually, like, uh, I guess it's just a random recipe that it can give you because it gave me, uh, like, radish salad or something, which definitely isn't one of the ones that's shown up already. So I guess I'll be checking it on Wednesdays as well just to make sure I get all the recipes possible. Of course, I can only get all of them guaranteed by hitting the the TV every Sunday, but maybe I'll be able to get some extras, you know, slightly quicker by doing it on Wednesdays. I doubt it'll help speed up the process at all, unless I get really lucky and it gives me the last few. Otherwise, it's probably just going to be giving me, like, ones I've already got. Uh, so, you know, we'll see about that. Other than that, not a whole lot going on. Um... Uh, I, like, started writing a screenplay last night, just on a whim. I've never even tried to write a screenplay before. But I was looking at scripts and stuff, and I realized that it's pretty much all dialogue, with, like, a few, you know, sentences here and there saying various things. So I was like, I can write dialogue. And apparently it's, you're supposed to estimate it at, like, a page of dialogue taking about a minute. So, because I'm trying to write a sitcom, uh, it's going to be like pretty much all dialogue, like I said. And that means that I need to get like 30 pages of dialogue done, and that'll take a while. I don't even really have an idea for a story for 20 or 30 pages worth of dialogue. But I'll work it out and see how that goes. Maybe, maybe I'll end up with something actually good at the end, after some refinement. And that would be pretty cool, actually, because I do have a, a cool idea. I'm not going to say it on here because, you know, as much as I like the idea and want to see it done, I don't want it to be, you know, taken by somebody else and written by somebody else before I have decided to give up or whatever. So if I, if I eventually give up, then I'll probably give the idea to someone, see if anybody else wants to try and write it. But otherwise, I'm going to keep... Uh, keep doing that writing thing. It seems easier to do a screenplay than like a novel, just because there's a lot less that you have to describe and stuff in a screenplay. Uh, most of the control is like, you know, the director, uh, the art people, the costume department, whatever. You know, everyone else, there's a lot of other people involved in making a screenplay happen, uh, especially like television. But in a novel, it's just you, the, the author, writing it, so you have to describe everything and do everything. So I think it should be, should be pretty good to do it this way. Uh, like I said, it's just 30 pages of dialogue, and the pages go by pretty quickly because uh, of how it's formatted, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I don't know, not much else going on. I... Saw that new game that is being like, you know, 
It's that new game that's the fad for people to do videos on Celeste. It looks pretty neat. Uh, it's like some kind of platformer game. Apparently it's really good. Uh, I don't have... I don't have it, so... I won't be checking it out, but it does look cool, so you guys should go and check out other people's videos on it, because it is. Like, if you're into platformers, it's a pretty good one, apparently. Uh, any other games that I can think of that are coming out soon? Uh, there's a remastered version of I Fell in Love with the Majesty of Colors that's coming out on the 28th. That should be pretty awesome. It's a game that's been out for a very long time. Uh, you guys might have even played it at some point. You play as like a tentacle monster thing and you can interact with stuff with your tentacles and there's branching endings and paths based on what you do and how you interact with things. And it's pretty neat. But, uh, you know, maybe check that out if you haven't heard of it before. Otherwise, coming up on the end of the video here. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed watching this as usual. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe if you didn't. If you did. Not if you didn't. I guess, you know, do whatever. Then... Uh, if you want an easy way to support my channel, as always, check out my Humble Partner link in the description below. Helps me out, helps out Child's Play, which is an awesome charity. And other than that, I'll see you guys all next time.